I have worked in uh, counseling people for like 20 years and I have seen Kabbalistic principles be remarkably useful. We don't think of uh, Kabbalah as being user friendly because really in its essence it's, it's describing supernal realities, places that are beyond time and space. But because, as I said, it's from the word lahakbil to a line, there is a place where it is remarkably relevant to our lives. I mean, that's how I created this program, this coaching program, which is to help people transform themselves on spiritual principles. But it doesn't stay in the realm of the abstract. Mm -hmm. Like there are things that I can apply in my life today, and the way that it's built, what I see is really useful in Kabbalistic models is the idea of maps and charts that parallel each other. So for example, um, when you look at the, the, the uh, Ark of Noah, that is a map of your body. Even if you'll say there were three floors and on the top was where the people lived and then the animals lived and then there was the, you know, where the garbage was, the refuse, because there was a lot happening over there. So in yourself, you have your consciousness, your Chabad, and then you have your emotions. Animals are considered to be driven by their emotions. The, the defining human quality is that I'm driven by consciousness. And then you've got the digestive organs, which is the garbage. It, however you look at it, if you look at the, at the temple, the temple is also a remarkable map of the body. So the two altars are the heart and the nostrils, etc. These things are very useful uh, when we look at them because very often when we, when we are striving to be whole and to find peace, we're trying very hard. I saw a sign today actually, it said when things are bad, uh, try harder, something like that. I was like, no, you know, try smarter. Try different. Apples got to think different. You know, just change your framework. And for me, what Kabbalah has done, and the reason I think that uh, it's so applicable to my life, is is help me find the parallels. Where can I land? For example, we are taught that King Solomon could had thousands of analogies for every idea. So people would get in the boat with him, it was let's say a rubber dinghy and it took him out to the rowboat and then he would go from the rowboat to the, to the yacht and then from the yacht to the ocean liner and then further and further. Eventually people got lost depending on their consciousness, depending on how intelligent they were but also how developed they were. Um, but there are all of these parallels and we can hear an abstract concept and bring it down and we can look at the physical reality and try and work up. So I think that um, it's very useful. And in life, it's, I see in, in the culture, it's becoming something that people want because it is an inside out solution. So much of what we're doing is, you know, all the self-help, popish stuff mm -hmm. is, I feel personally, not that there aren't truths there, but I feel that it's outside in. Like I'm going to do something and affect, but when you're looking at Kabbalah, it's inside out, it's the bone marrow, it's the bones. It's there is an internal absolute principle. And when I align myself with that map, then I experience transformation.